Potassium and sodium tend to be a little bit more common in the uterus. I mean, potassium and chlorine. So you're more likely to see a nebula below this kind of bundle of grayish pink. And if a nebula starts glowing that color, there's a good chance that there's both potassium and chlorine. Do <laughs> Hey, 
That dot, right, right up there. Yeah. Is that what we're looking at? That's what we're looking at. In there. Mm -hmm. There's a brighter one straight up. Trying to eyeball it right here. If you actually do uh, 
about stuff in chemistry, please do not eyeball it. Do your measurements properly. <laughs> all right, there we go. We have methanol in all the containers. So now we could start lighting stuff on fire. You guys ready? All right. So let's say a cloud, such as the nebulas we see in the show, start glowing a certain color. Depending on what color they start glowing, we could actually tell what they're made of. Such as if the nebula starts to glow this kind of faint greenish you see here, you might be able to tell that's made out of boric acid. I know, that was rather faint, so we'll put in a little bit more. Pretty cool, right? So, not a lot of these clouds will be made of boric acid. So, potassium and sodium tend to be a little bit more common in the universe. I mean, potassium and chlorine. So you're more likely to see a nebula glow this kind of fun little uh, grayish piece. And if a nebula starts glowing that color, there's a good chance that there's both potassium and chlorine in it. Now what about sodium chloride? If a cloud has that stuff in there, it'll do this pretty bright orange. <coughs> it all you'll burn out in that one. Do not do this at home. <laughs> there we go. Now, let's say uh, the cloud starts burning this interesting red color. Is it strontium or chloride? Well, strontium and chloride in the cloud. And now, if the cloud starts showing this bright, beautiful color that we're about to see, you all know there's a Disney villain inside it. <laughs> so yeah, based off of the colors you see, <coughs> determines what the cloud is made out of, because generally these clouds are going to be about as bright as the, or about as hot as these element samples, if not hotter, because of nuclear fusion happening in stars nearby. And from the coloration, we are able to directly tell what these objects are made of. <coughs> If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise, thank you guys for coming to our Colors of the Cop. Life of fire. We're gonna look at a thing that's 14,000 white years old. Yeah, <laughs> 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 <laughs>